Okay, today on Time to Get Social, we're talking about how to choose the right social media marketing agency for your business. Because like a lot of people, like a lot of business owners, you're busy, you don't have the time to do this, but you know that social media marketing is super important to grow your business. And so you started thinking about outsourcing it. And when I say outsource, I mean really hiring an agency, okay? You're gonna hire an agency to do it. Um, and we have another video talking about agencies versus, for example, freelancers versus in-house. Um, but today's video is just when you do decide you're gonna work with an agency, meaning a team of people that are gonna help you, um, here's how you're gonna choose them. And so today we have seven main points that we're gonna go over that are gonna help you make sure you make the right choice so you actually get a long-term partner that's gonna help you be successful in your marketing, okay? If you're serious about building a brand, it's, it's a year by year. Billion dollar businesses actually have been built already on the back of just social media. So number one, the first thing you need to do when looking for a social media marketing agency, I always say is start by asking around, honestly. I'm not gonna say start by searching Suit Social on Google, even though I think that's the best way to start your search. I'm gonna say start by asking around. Referrals are great, right? Ask your other business owner friends, other local businesses, maybe you're part of a chamber of commerce or association. Ask people who they use or who they've heard of or who they've seen or who they've dealt with in any capacity. Um, that's usually a great start, right? Because usually friends, especially business owners, don't refer vendors they don't trust, right? They don't wanna put their name on the line unless they really believe that person can help. So definitely start by asking around and make sure you're asking the right question, right? Ask, hey, have you used or do you know anybody who does social media marketing for businesses that you know is successful? Like, do you have any good referrals, references? Have you seen anything? Ask the very specific right question, right? Don't just ask, do you know anyone who does social media? That's generic. You're gonna get somebody's sister or brother. That's not where we wanna go. Do you know any agencies that have been successful in the past working with businesses on social media? That's the best uh, starting question, okay? So that's number one. Number two is when you do kind of start to get that short list of agencies you're being referred or you found, Start by checking their online reviews. That's a great start, right? In today's world, everyone's leaving reviews, everyone's talking about companies they've worked with. Um, so it's pretty easy to type a company name and come up with all the reviews, Google, Facebook. Um, for agencies, the best spot to look that I really do recommend is called clutch.com or clutch.co, clutch.com. And we'll put it up here somewhere with a link, um, but it's clutch.com and clutch is basically a reviewing service for agencies. The reason why I trust clutch the most is that their process is down packed, okay? So their process is they have to actually get on a phone interview with past clients of the agency and they actually interview that client and then they do the review. So you can't alter it, you can't have like a random person just leaving a review um, and clients have to be pretty darn committed to take time out of their day to get on a call to leave that agency review. Right, so we have it as well. You can find Suit Social on Clutch and you'll see reviews from clients that Clutch has actually interviewed, right? So there's nothing we can make up. There's no random reviews. So I highly, highly recommend starting your search on Clutch and start with your area. Type in like, and honestly, if you do a Google search of like social media agencies in Barrie, Ontario, usually the first thing that comes up is the Clutch website anyway. So start there, start local. Um, and that's very important too when you're looking for reviews. Find a local agency, um, at least in your country usually. Um, I mean, we do work with agencies, uh, I mean, clients all over the world, not just Canada, um, but that's through other relationships, people that have worked with us here that then have expanded and whatnot. But try to find someone at least in your country or who has an office in your country, who understands your country, because there are definitely nuances and different laws and different practices um, in each country. But anyway, number two is reviews. Check the reviews, okay? Number three, check the online presence, the content, website, anything you can around that agency, right? Do they practice what they preach? Are they if they're selling you social media marketing services, are they using social media? Are they creating content? Are they running ads? How does their website look, right? Because chances are, if they can't do their own things correctly, they're probably not gonna do yours either. And I find it very hypocritical with all these agencies that sell social media marketing services that don't use it at all. They have no ads, no funnels, no content, no videos, no nothing in an outdated website, right? Um, and on, on that note, when you're looking into those agencies online, Make sure you find a dedicated social media marketing agency. Don't work with a web company or an SEO company that also does social media marketing. You need to work with a dedicated social media marketing. It is way too diverse, way too deep that someone has it as an add-on service. Oftentimes what happens is website companies that really have you know three, four, five, ten 10 people working on websites and SEO get one young intern and they say, you do the social media and they just go sell it. Right? There's no actual expertise, whereas the social media agency's whole focus and purpose is just social media marketing, so that's very important as well. Number four is get on a call with the agency, right? 
Don't do anything just online. Don't do anything just through email. Get on a call or a video conference face-to-face -face with your agency and make sure you ask all the right questions. So what should you be asking when you get on a call? First, how long have they been in business? How long have they actually been doing this, right? Second should really be, are they a dedicated social media marketing agency? Is this all they do? Is this what they're focused and committed to doing, right? And that's gonna tell you, do they do it well, right? Third is, who are some of their most successful clients? Who have they worked with that they've really had success with? That's really, really important as well. Four is, how much have they managed in marketing and advertising, right? Are they a company that's really only managed like 10 grand, 20 grand, or have they managed millions of dollars in advertising and marketing on the social media platform? Because there's very few of those companies, very few companies that have done just social media marketing have managed over a million dollars in advertising. Very, 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 very few. So ask that question and that'll give you a good idea. Now they don't often manage that much, but at least if they've managed a few hundred thousand dollars in ad spend, um, they're probably relatively qualified to at least get you started, okay? Five is how do they do things differently than any other agency, right? What makes them unique? Ask them this. Like why you over any other agency? What do you guys do differently? Do you have your own strategy, your own practices, your own software, your own ideas? Like what do you do that's unique? Figure that out about your agency because that's gonna be extremely helpful in understanding if they're really a trend setter or a trend follower, right? Because a lot of agencies are just watching things online like the videos we make and then just replicating that and offering it as a service or product and it's not their own. And if it's not their own, they're never gonna do it as well as the original. You want people that are innovating and have their own ideas, their own strategies um, and all of that, okay? Number six is what's included in their fee, right? A lot of agencies will work on a monthly retainer like we do, um, but I find that a lot of agencies have a lot of extras. They have startup costs, they have extras, they have additionals, they have overage fees, they have all kinds of things that get tacked onto your bill and your bill kind of changes every month. Um, as opposed to with our agency, we charge one flat monthly rate, it never changes. It's the same rate every month, totally transparent. You're also gonna wanna ask in terms of fees how they handle advertising budgets, right? Some agencies bundle it together. Let's say you pay them 10 grand a month, they're including what's gonna be spent on advertising in that budget for you, like on Facebook ads, Instagram ads, but they don't really tell you how much of it is being charged. They take it first, they distribute it, you don't really know what's going on what, are they keeping more, are they spending more? We separate it, like in our agency at Suit Social, we bill you our fee upfront. Here's our management fee. Everything else you spend on ads, on Facebook, on LinkedIn, on Google, on YouTube, anything like that is between you and that platform. We're obviously gonna set it up, we're gonna manage it, but it'll be your credit card on that account. You get a bill from Facebook, you get a bill from YouTube. We don't touch any of it. So ask how that works with your agency, right? Are they including ad spend? Is ad spend separate? And how do they bill all that, okay? Uh, number seven is what does their contract look like, right? Are you locked in? Is it month to month? Is it for an entire year? Is it for three years? Is there discounts if you sign up for longer periods? Um, get a good sense up front before you sign anything. A lot of people will sign off only to find out it was for a 12 month agreement. Um, here we also have a very unique uh, structure at Suit Social, which is basically we have 12 month agreements, but what we do is we have three month trial periods for all of our contracts. That means you can sign up with us and in the first three months, if you don't like anything at all, you can just cancel. You can just pull out, there's no exit fee, there's no commitment. At the end of three months, we're gonna ask you how everything is doing, show you all your results, show you if you're making money, not making money, what we've been working on. Um, and if you like the results and you wanna continue, you give us a thumbs up and we're with you for the next nine months, right? We have that commitment. So it's very open-ended, only clients that have already been proven results and that like working with us stay for the remaining of the nine months. If anything else goes wrong, they can just walk away, um, although they almost never do, okay? Now, that's it for what you should be asking when you get on a call for your agency. Number five in the points of how you choose an agency is get a clear proposal or scope of services. Make sure that you have, when you do narrow down that agency you wanna work with, you have a clear scope of services or proposal set to you. An actual document that says, this is everything we're going to deliver. Here's all the contingencies. Here's how all this works. Here's all of our actual work and references that we told you we had. Make sure you're getting all that from them on paper. Very important because there can be a lot of hearsay, right? Where, oh, you said you're gonna include this. Oh no, we didn't. We said we we're gonna do this. Get it on paper, get it signed, and make sure you read it thoroughly, okay? Number six really is make sure you actually like the agency and the people you're dealing with. If you don't get a good vibe, you should be able to walk into the agency or get in a call, and you should feel the energy. You should feel like they're motivated, like they're in it, like, you know, make sure they're business experts, not just these, oh yeah, yeah, we, we do social media, yeah, we'll do your post for you. Make sure they get your business, they get your industry, they know what you're doing, um, and first and foremost, they're business people, revenue-focused business people, right? and social media marketing second. That's very important because you want them to be aligned with your goals. As a business owner, you care about revenue, sales, lead generation, and growing your business. That's number one. 
Social media is just what we use to help you get there. So make sure that, that that's what it is. If you don't have the right vibe, you don't feel the right energy, you don't feel like they're qualified, they don't understand business in general or your business specifically, um, that could be a, a pretty big red flag. Make sure they're, they're honest, make sure that everything about them checks out when you're talking one-to-one, -one. that's very important. If you don't feel right on a call or in a meeting, if you feel something's off, that's probably a good sign you should just move on. Okay, because it probably doesn't get better from there. Seven is commit, okay? Commit for at least three months mentally, right? Before you make any decisions, when you do choose that agency, say, I'm in it for three months no matter what. Because in reality, it takes about a month to set everything up and get it going. On month two, you actually start running campaigns and advertising, and that's when you get results. At the end of that month two, you get a bunch of data. It can be essentially optimized from there. And month three, you usually get the best idea of, okay, I see what they're doing here. Because they've had time to set up, they've had time to optimize, and you get a true picture of their work. Earlier than three months, you're just cutting it short. You're just really cutting yourself short. You're falling short. So you've committed, you've spent this money, but you didn't even give it enough time to ramp up to what it needs to be to properly judge the campaigns or the agency. So when you do sign up, say, hey, can I do this for at least three months, no matter what? If the answer is yes, do it. If the answer is no, don't. Do it, something's wrong, okay? So those are our seven major tips when it comes to choosing a social media marketing agency for your business in 2020. I hope those are helpful. I hope that they're gonna help you make the right choice and you choose an agency. And I do recommend, again, start your search by going to www.sudsocial.com and give us a look if you're looking for social media marketing services. Um, we'd be happy to hop on a call with you and go through all the things I just covered today. Until then, don't forget to like, comment on this video, subscribe to get more videos from us about marketing and agencies and all this fun stuff. And I look forward to seeing you on our next video. We drop a new one every single Wednesday. Um, so I'll see you next Wednesday on our next time to get social. See you there.